What's happening guys, Lawson here. So I just got back yesterday from a nine day trip out into the middle of nowhere in South America and didn't have any service. So that's kind of why I've been ghost mode for a while. But today I want to talk to you guys about some winter fishing tips and five lures you should be used during the winter time. Cause I got home and it was like 57 degrees out. Like it was cold, man. So. I want to be able to help you guys out and be able to catch more fish and just some advice for me what I like to throw during the winter time because with freshwater bass fishing I feel like there's an insane amount of information on what to throw and what to use different seasons but with saltwater I don't feel like there's really that much and some of the articles that are out there like I've read them and they're okay you can get a little bit but I don't think they're overwhelmingly helpful so I'm gonna go over like five styles of lures that I like to use like late fall and winter time to crush some fish. Today's video is also sponsored by Shop Carl's because some of the baits I got off there I just bought off Shop Carl's and something pretty cool that they're doing right now with me is I created a holiday fish wish list. You can go to Shop Carl's and save 10% on top of the discount you already get from Shop Carl's and there's going to be a list of lures that I've hand selected and put on there that you guys can get discounts on and a lot of them are baits that I like to throw during the winter time. So it works out perfectly that I'm going to show you guys some baits and if you need to pick some up you can go down below and click the link and use a discount code and get some good stuff. All right. All right, we're gonna hop into these baits that I like to be throwing this time of year. And I'm gonna give you basically how I like to fish them, what I fish them for, and why they are effective. Bait number one, a popper. The popper is what I like to throw for top water during the wintertime. You know, if you watch my videos pretty consistently, you know that I'm normally a walking style bait or like a spook style bait type of guy. That's what I always throw, but when it gets colder, the popper is incredible because there's a ton of bluefish around, a ton of mid-range jack crevals, and then you even get all the black tip sharks migrating down as well. So there's a ton of fish that really love the popper, and I love throwing these around bait schools. If you're seeing fish blow up, you're seeing birds diving, tie your dang popper on and start whipping it, you're gonna get hammered by some fish. And it's not a bass popper, man. It's not like a choom, choom. When I fish a popper, it's either a boom, like a huge hit and let it sit. Boom, boom, like big blow ups or I'm going like constant medium blow ups like like I don't like the sit and pause. Maybe if it's really deep where you're fishing, you can try it and vary with it. But I find that like either a fast blow up or just loud medium pace blow ups are what gets it done. So. Winter time, pick up your popper, catch a big fish. That's your big fish lure. Number two, now this is a bait that I throw year round. I think it is literally the best artificial you can basically ever be throwing if you're just going out and you say, I just wanna catch blank. Like, you don't really know, you wanna catch maybe, maybe you wanna catch a redfish, a black drum, a snook, a tarpon, a trout, a flounder. Like, you're just like, I just wanna catch some fish. The best thing you can be throwing is the shrimp man there's a bunch of different styles of them here but they work really well and when the winter time comes along you need to slow it down a bit and just work them slow and during the winter time shrimp are typically bigger and there's more of them present it feels like so a lot of fish are keying in on these you go out in a cold morning and you're trying to catch some nice snook or reds they want to eat a little shrimp you'll catch bigger snook on a shrimp than you normally would this time of year during the winter time because their metabolism slows way down and instead of like trying to chase after some big mullet and use a lot of energy they just want to just like swim around and go like slurp up a shrimp here and there so a shrimp is dynamite structure using around docks and bridges and mangroves they hold heat all those structures will retain heat really good and fish seem to like to get around them same thing shallow flats fish go there during the middle of the day because the sun beats down it gets warmer a lot quicker work a shrimp really slow there's probably gonna be some lazy lazy snook and reds and trout just cruising around looking to slurp up some little shrimp that is the catch all of the fish bait right there. One of my favorite ways to target some bigger fish during the winter time is suspended jerk baits and twitch baits. So right here I have a Yozuri Crystal Minnow and a little X-Wrap. These are awesome baits. Both of these are on my wish list right now. So you can go scoop these suckers up. And 
Like I was saying with the shrimp, the fish are looking for smaller presentations. So like a small little bait fish. And with these suspended baits, you know, you're working them super erratically. Like boom, boom, pause. Boom, boom, pause. And what you want to do is experiment with the rate of what you're pausing. If it's really cold out, pause longer. If it's a little warm out, pause shorter. And keep in mind when you catch a fish and when it hits, think about, hmm, I was pausing that for a good amount of time that fish ate and try to replicate that. Same thing, I like working this around structure and you're just pretending to be like a dying little glass minnow or a dying little like menhaden or pilchard or something and just twitch twitch and sitting there and you're trying to entice some of these cold, lethargic, lazy fish out of structure to come out and hammer it. And a lot of times I find during the winter time, I catch my bigger fish on these style baits right here. Typically the bigger fish, they are eating some shrimp, but they're also keying in on bait fish more than smaller shrimp are. And so you can really entice a bigger snook or a bigger red, big trout to come out and hammer a suspended twitch bait. Your suspended baits, these are your big fish enticers. Number four on the list, a year round classic, but particularly during the winter time because of the fish that show up, they are insanely deadly, the spoons. Golden spoon, golden spoon, silver spoon. Now, the silver spoon is particularly good for jack, bluefish, Spanish mackerel, really anything off the beach. These things are killer. They cast a mile, they basically require zero effort or skill to throw, and they catch a stupid amount of fish. Now, the golden spoon is killer inshore for trout and reds. And snook will even choke on these sometimes too. Fish them in a similar way. This one you can maybe flutter a little more, bounce it up and down, has a little weed guard on it. These baits right here are super old school, but some of the best baits have ever been invented. If you just wanna go out and whack some fish off the beach, maybe you're just in a nice bay, spoons are an incredible search bait and they catch just about everything. These two boys right here, those are your old school winners. Fifth and final thing we're gonna talk about right here, swim baits, soft plastic swim baits. These are an awesome lure year round, but during the winter time, they're really great too because you can rig them in different ways and fish them at varying speeds. So where this will excel is around structure like the shrimp will, but you know, you could rig a heavy jig head and just slowly dredge the bottom. Maybe you've marked a nice deep hole on your graph. That's gonna be money. Put a half ounce to one ounce jig head on and let that sucker drop down and slow drag the bottom. There might be some fat reds or fat snook just chilling out down there because deeper water takes longer for the temperature change and so it can retain a constant temperature down there and the fish will feel better so with that swim bait you throw it out a deep hole and you're just slow rolling it same exact idea around deeper docks and bridges you can fish this thing slow along the bottom and find those fish that are just huddled up trying to stay warm and they work really well or pull it up onto some shallow flats put a quarter ounce or a one eighth ounce jig head in it and just cover the flats and work it nice and slow I find during the winter time the smaller the bait, the better. These are four inch exoswims, another bait that you can get off Shop Carl's and I have on my wish list. So you can pick these up. They're really, really great paddle tails. Now this is a four inch and this is probably the biggest I'll throw during the winter time. I find smaller, better. Same exact idea as the shrimp. The fish, slower metabolism, want to eat smaller, easier meals for them to digest than trying to hammer something giant and expend a lot of energy chasing it down. They just don't have the energy. So slow rolling some small swim baits around flats bridges and deep holes can produce some of your really good fish during the winter time that aren't responding well to other baits the swim bait that's the bait that does it all hopefully you guys enjoyed those five baits and those little tips that were there oh you know what actually i have one more bonus bait for you doesn't really fall anywhere, it almost falls in between a spoon or in between a shrimp, but a killer bait to throw during the winter time is a goofy jig or a pompano jig or a wobbler, whatever you want to call them. These are incredible, incredible, stupid little lures. It's like fall somewhere between a spoon and a shrimp. It's supposed to look like a little crab or a little shrimp fluttering off the bottom and they weigh just like a quarter ounce. You can get them one eighth even heavier, they launch a mile, and how I like to fish them is just sling them out over grass flats or big sand edges. You go along the beach and cast them, and let them hit the bottom and go boom, boom, boom. Let them sit back down, boom, boom, boom. Let them sit back down. Pompano moved down the coast during the winter time, 
and that is what they love to eat. And pompano are amazing fish. They're good to eat, they're fun to catch. They are just an awesome, awesome fish. And everything else we eat these, redfish, trout, flounder, you know, I've caught sheep's head on these things. Like, they are an incredible lure, super easy to work, super simple, really cheap, and they crush fish during the winter time. That's your uh, five baits plus one. Don't forget about the goofy jig there. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed some of these winter tips. This is just stuff that I wish I would have known when I was growing up or learning how to fish and going to different seasons because during the winter time, it can be a really daunting time to go fish in Florida because it's just so freaking hot all the time. And then you have this period where it's like kind of cool and you're like, I have no idea what the fish are doing. I feel like I'm completely lost and I don't understand what's happening. And that's how I felt for a very long time, but over time, just getting the fish all the time. And now that I fish for a living every single day, I don't get to be like, you know what, it's winter time I'm just not gonna fish as much I still got to go out there and so this is stuff that I've learned and I wish I would have known when I was trying to get into it hopefully some of this helps you guys out and don't forget to go check out my holiday fish list and, and pick up some of these goodies from shop Carl's I think it was really cool and perfect timing because I had this video idea in my head about doing some winter baits and then Shop Carl's hit me up and they're like, hey, we want to do like a, basically a holiday fish list where people can get a big discount for like Black Friday and all that stuff and get it early for baits. And I was like, that works perfect. There's your five wintertime inshore lure tips. Do me a big giant favor. If you found any of these helpful, go drop a like and leave a comment below of what your wintertime fishing tips might be. Maybe it's like Maybe it's a way you like to fish some of these lures. Maybe it's a different lure that I didn't even hit at all. I wanna know it, I wanna hear it. That is all I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until the next time, see ya.